Okay. That one is for sure Kiel's. This one, I think, is Lawrence. I'm not 100% certain. Let's find out. Oh, this is Noir's! There's three children that I'm missing. <laughs> All alone, are you, lamb? Off searching for dear old mum. How very sweet. Also, I did do the pairing to get Lauren's paralog. Okay, yeah, I do see another paralog on the bottom of the screen. Okay, I know which one it is. Sorry. Okay, Noir here, who we're about to get, is potentially going to be the most OP unit in my entire army. Maybe. She is going to be my Nosferatu tank and be literally unstoppable. For the world's a dangerous place, my dear. For the wolves waiting to snatch you up. Funny how much we've been seeing the same model of the same guy. With a whole bunch of different names for a whole bunch of different side stories. Um, thank you for the warning, sir, but... There's no... That's no warning, lamb. I'm a wolf and you've been snatched. You now come quietly. Scars tend to lower the sale price, and we wouldn't want that. My lord. Slavers, my lord. Such damnable scum. What? Have to hurry if we hope to catch them. <laughs> or we could stay right here and just let me go to work on them. A curse to wither them away, perhaps? A slow death over a year. Oh, fine, let's make it two. I think their captain would most likely appreciate something a bit more immediate. Shepherds, saving the girls are top priority. Now move out. But yeah, wasn't the start of a sentence, you don't think? Pretty sure it was all uppercase letters, too. So probably just like an exclamation then. Yeah, it seems like very much like he is a generic dude in that case. Um, where is Nuar? Where is she at? Where on- Oh, she's right freaking there. Oh, the enemies are gonna rush her, aren't they? I need to get my unit over there as soon as possible. So, let's see here. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's bring in my really good pairings. And then Tharja and Donald, because I need them for this one anyway. And then who do I want as my last one? That is a very good question. Um, we could always just bring in Frederick. Frederick's still very strong. We're just bringing a generic, super strong unit. Yeah, let's bring in Frederick. Does Frederick need more weapons? Who will need some more weapons here? You need some more weapons. <laughs> let's not grab the single-use one, how about? That's what we'll do. Um... Krom could use another lance. Is what he could use. Um... Let's just give Stahl another one of those swords, I guess. Okay, I can give Cordelia a better bow. She has armor thrift. It doesn't activate every time, but I can start... I can have her use the iron bow a bit more than she does. Or the javelin, stuff like that. Had a legit DPD crash on load with a Mori? <laughs> nice. Okay. the When Dead by Daylight for the Switch first came out, and I was covering it, essentially, one of the things that happened was Endgame Collapse. Somebody was opening the exit gate right as Endgame Collapse ran out, and the game crashed on the spot right as you heard the loud sound effect for, like, them dying by the Endgame Collapse. It was so wacky because it was just, like, an abrupt cut like that. Yeah, let's give her a better bow, how about? Since she does conserve weapon uses a lot of the time anyway. <laughs> this is what we'll do. It was wacky. It was a wacky time, to say the least. Um, yeah, let's grab some more heal stabs, how about? It's a shame Arms Thrift doesn't affect, like, heal stabs and such. That's too bad there. Yeah, that's probably fine. Um... Yeah, he can serve his weapon uses a lot of the time anyway. He can just equip the steel one by default. Um... Yeah, something along these lines. You do not have an axe. Oh, because you literally can't wield an axe right now because you're a paladin, not a great knight. Wacky. Very, very wacky indeed. Do I have a sword that I can throw on you? A spare good one? I gave you a freaking silver sword. I can give you an armor slayer. Let's give you an armor slayer, I guess. All right, let's see here. Um... Okay, Tharja and Donald are gonna have to go that way to have a good old chat with their kid, Nuar. And my unit is also gonna rush over there to make sure that she doesn't die, essentially. Meanwhile, over here, there is, oh my goodness, a lot of enemies. Um, meanwhile, over here, 
Yeah, Lucina and Jerome can start rushing that way. Frederick will be on his own, I guess. Um... Yeah, something like that-ish. So we'll have the two squads, essentially. Let's see here. So tired. It's over. If it's over, I'll be by your side soon. It's very strange, considering her mother is a freaking mage, and then they start out Nuar as a freaking archer, of all things. So yeah, the skills that she has inherited are aptitude to make better level ups, and then life taker, which is a very nice skill. It might not be one of her final skills that she has, but for now, we'll make do. Dang, I can't quite make it super far over there. Alright, that'll have to do for now. Let's have the parents start moving across here. Um, yeah, let's get our pair-ups going. Real quick. Like that. Okay, do, are there dudos here with counter? You don't have counter. You have counter. Which scares me a little bit. I mean, the one counter dude being in range probably won't be that. Okay, I can't even get into there. It's fine. Um, yeah, let's switch to Lucina there. Is what we'll do. Okay, let's switch to the javelin like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. Have my other units stay out of the attacking range of our enemies. Is what we'll do. Okay, yeah, going after Lucina since she can't counterattack. Makes sense. Nice miss, nerd. Nice miss. Oh, there's that guy. I forgot about him. And Gregor is wielding the hand axe right now. Okay, please no counter. Please no counter. No counter. Thank goodness for that. Nice. Two double. Two follow-up attacks. Two follow-up attacks. Schnice, please have luck go up. That is not luck going up. That is a terrible level up. My goodness. You suck, Gregor. You really suck. No Luna Plus? No Luna Plus. My oh my. My oh my. Um, yeah, Cordelia has the Javelin equipped, so she can counter this. Nice. Nice, nice. Goodbye. Did so. I can't believe I forgot about Nuar here. So, good candidates for Nosferatu tanks are Nuar or Lorent, and I chose Nuar. Because you can typically only really go for one of them. Like, you can probably go for both of them, but it would really screw over the stats of one of them. Oh, that guy's counter. Yikes. Yikes! Please activate soul. Okay, never mind. Yeah, typically you can only have one of them really inherit Arms Thrift and be a pretty good magical unit still. So yeah, she's gonna be my Nosferatu tank that is the unholy offspring of Tharja and Donal. Essentially. It'll be crazy. Definitely gonna be more OP than my unit. For sure. There's no way she won't. Root! Oh, I have Rally Strength on still! I just realized. I never set my skills back from the last time, so I'm probably still running Rally Strength on my avatar. Among all these other good skills. My oh my. What was the last skill that I had anyway on? So I have Ignis Soul. Arms Thrift Limit Breaker. What was the last thing that I had on anyway? What was it, I wonder? Because with all the enemies with counter, I'm starting to think... I was about to say I'm starting to think maybe I should put it on Vantage, but Vantage would just kill me sooner. Wouldn't it? Maybe. I don't know. Like, we don't have to worry about needing Vantage a whole lot. I forget what the last skill I had one was. It's bugging me out that I can't remember now. It seriously is. Yeah, there's a bunch of flyers. Okay, I can use that one for a movement boost. Yeah, it looks like it's the cavalry that's rushing over there. So, this is how it ends. Killed, or worse. Clean death would be a mercy compared to what awaits. Oh, what's this? An old bow. Hmm, this string's still taut. I suppose I could use this to try to fight my way out. But, but the spanners are so strong and scary and... Wait, my talisman. I just grab my talisman and then... 
I am the fire and the fury. All who defy me will perish. Repent, scum. Repent, though it will save you not. So, yeah, that's a quick mood change. Oh, we have, we can move her now? Oh, you. Okay. So, let's see here, then. See what we can do. Um, let's take out this guy. Take out this guy real quick. Yeah, what are my current skills? What are they? And what did I take off for Rally Strength? Because I've forgotten. Yeah, I still have Rally Strength on. What did I take off for it? What skill did I remove? I removed Luna, I remember now. Now I suddenly remember. Let's, uh, do this, I guess. I don't know. Just to take out another enemy. It's probably a good idea. Whoa. Some serious lag there. Okay, she's relatively safe within this little fortress for now. Maybe I should leave her there. She can always do this. You know, as long as it connects. Is what she can do. Alrighty. Every little bit helps, I suppose. Let's separate them so we get one extra tile of movement by doing that, essentially. Um, Cordelia can take out two of those flyers. Two of them. Wow, two of them of counter. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, so Frederick can take out... Oh, wait, but there's Pavi's plus... But this guy is counter, though. Hmm. Let's hope that Lucina attacks as well. I'll cross my fingers for her. To help out Frederick, hopefully. Or hopefully he activates Luna or something. Okay, thank you, RNG. Thank you, indeed. My goodness, Frederick putting some work in over here. My goodness. Um, okay, Chrome's almost certainly gonna attack as well. So let's try it out. This is what we'll do. We'll be back. There we go. Ah, oh, didn't miss. Oh, now she activates Astra. Now she does it, huh? Could have used that earlier. Could have used that earlier. Okay, let's get a little bit of a boost over with Lissa here, like this. It's Pavi's plus, but it's not Aegis plus, so it's fine. Oh, I could have switched Gregor's weapon. Is what I should have done. I can do that now. Is what I can do. I don't need that right now. Alrighty, let's put on the steel sword, how about? And then go this way. And then attack this guy, how about? This guy is Aegis plus, but who cares? With Gregor doing as much damage as he is. <laughs> he starts running back and he just turns around and stabs again. Oh, I love it. My oh my. Alrighty. Then we go over here. And we do this. And we do a lot of damage. We do a ton of damage. I mean, flyers are also weak to bows. But that's still a lot of damage right there. That's still quite a lot of damage. Ow. My oh my. Okay, and then we freaking... Go this way. This is the one that has counter. So maybe I don't want to deal with that, actually. Maybe not. Oh, ether. Crit? No crit. To the, the just casual chuck like that. My oh my. Should I tilt the camera up a little bit more? I don't know. Maybe it's fine like that there. Um. Okay, yeah. They're gonna go after these guys in a sec here. All those flyers. Who's counter here? It's the boss's counter, but he can't leave there. And you have counter. Okay, so it's probably fine to just put Lucina, like, right here. Quite frankly. And hello, Will's Fruit Gummy. Slash Corn Chip. Hey, whoa. 
Welcome to more of this madness. Thank goodness none of these guys have counter. Or else Lucina would be so screwed. They have Pavi's plus though. Which takes off a lot of damage they receive. Not enough though, apparently. Yeah, if they attack my archers, they can't exactly counter-attack here. Hmm. Hmm. Ow. Oh, rude. Oh, that dude's schmoovin'. They're all schmoovin', uh-oh. I gotta get my unit over there, like, right now. Let's see here. Let's get a little bit of a boost off of this guy, how about? Is what we can do. Um, has counter, but it doesn't matter because we're one-shot here. Let's try to get all of the enemies to surround my unit if I can. That was close. Is what we'll do. Alright, what can we do here? Oh, they can attack past there. Is that guy. Maybe I should take out this guy here then? Maybe, maybe? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it out here. Is what we'll do. Immediate crit. My goodness. So now that should take away that danger area there. Yeah, it does. Let's freaking... Attack this guy. I don't know. <laughs> Did I already get Severa? Yes! I managed to finally get Severa. Yes, indeed. It was a success. A fantastic success. We only have three children left, I believe. This being one of them. My oh my, there's a lot of children units in this game. Oh, I can't quite make it that far. Dang, man. Ooh, but if they're separate, I could always have Krom attack on his own, too. How many enemies are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many can I, in theory, take out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in theory. Maybe nine if you count Olivia Dead. Okay, we, if we play our cards right, we can take out all of the flyers here right now. This is what we can do. Yeah, let's have these two work together. Vantage plus, doesn't matter. No damage. Whatever, man. And there's Luna. Boobie bop. Good. Good. My oh my. You misheard that badly? Misheard something there? Alrighty, let's um... Go for this dude with counter with a bow. Because I can't attack from close range when they have counter. It's too risky. I don't want to risk it. Okay, and then we can take out this one. And that should also mean that the boss should go after Cordelia here, I believe. That's what that should mean. Oh, style missed! And the boss is Luna Plus. Zero went up to 19 damage because of Luna Plus. My goodness. Unbelievable. It only even had a 50-50 chance to hit. Let's see here. Okay, Frederick can't quite make it anywhere here. Unfortunately. He can rally defense. Is what he can do. Let's see here. Uh, you have Pavi's Plus. Nothing else that I need to be too concerned about. You heard Severa as some air, and we're like, but Harmonia was here the whole time. Get some air yet? <laughs> the, the, re ugh. the answer is Ketson because it's actually a really good class. <laughs> is why. How's it going today? Hope things are going swell. Because it's actually a pretty good class, and she wields bows pretty darn well. What class is that? It's a DLC one, which... I don't know why this is a class that exists, but it is, for some reason. For some reason, that's a thing, because I guess some people are into that or something is why they decide to add it. It's strange. It is very, very strange. Um, let's see here. You have Vantage Plus, but no Luna. Oh my goodness, you can do a lot of damage, can't you? Okay, whatever. Olivia's got this. Olivia's got this. Easy peasy. Vantage Plus, but no Luna Plus. Ow! Rude. Good thing there's no counter. There we go. My oh my. Not enough to level up there, though. Yikes. Okay, then maybe... This guy has Vantage Plus and Luna Plus. Only a 6% chance to hit, though, so it's fine. Probably. Probably. Guess we'll see. Um. Aha! 
A quick miss. Nice, nice. Stabby, stabby. We restored some of our health. Speaking of restoring health, we should probably do that here. It's probably a good idea. Well, I mean, Cordelia is right in the fray. So let's do that first and foremost, actually. This is what we'll do. All right, now the boss is gonna go after Cordelia here. More meat for the wolf, is it? Well, you're about to get annihilated, my dude. Nice no damage. Oh my, just two health left according to my bottom screen right now. Dead. I've had my fill. Got an energy drop, apparently. Okay, now everybody's gonna surround my unit. Let's hope that there aren't a lot of them with the counter skill. Kinda like that. Kinda like that. I do not want to lose right here because of enemies having counter. Hey, silly dog, have you come down here and join me? You want up on the couch back there? Want to jump up? No, not yet. Jump up there. Jump up there, silly dog. No? Yeah, counter is kind of not okay. If this guy is counter, I'm dead. Probably, unless I crit. A soul heals at first. Okay, he doesn't have counter. He doesn't have counter then. Now my doggies come to see me. <laughs> so I'm betting her right beside my right beside my chair now. Can counter kill you? Yep, sure can. No, it does not leave you at one. It immediately kills you. Is what happens. Whenever you do any damage to an enemy and you don't kill them while you're on an adjacent tile, you take back all the damage that you deal to them. Okay, I'm always afraid and cringing that counter is about to hit me. I'm always afraid. Hey, you wanna come up here, silly dog? Come up here. Come up here, hey? Hey, how are you doing? Uh, let's put that away here is what we'll do. Let's hope that this guy doesn't have- Oh, I should be able to one-shot him anyway, so it's probably okay. Hey? Yeah, it's probably a-okay at the moment. <laughs> yeah, she... Let's come down to join me, it looks like, at this point. Until it down a bit more here, is what I can do. Hey? You've come down to join me? Huh? You've come down to see what I'm doing? Because I'm just, you know, trying to combat this BS in this game right now. Hey? And now she's laying down right there, and she wants a tummy rub. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what breed is that doggo? Border Collie. She is a Border Collie. Which means she has high energy. A lot of the time, despite being 11 years old now. Yeah, she's back. Not quite on the couch right now, she's laying beside my desk right now. Right beside my chair. I'm rubbing her belly right now. Anyway, let's keep advancing this. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do here. She's so silly. My other camera is apparently right here. Like, if I can say, wow, that's beside my chair right now. That is beside my chair right now. I apologize for like the junk that's over there, like that box and stuff. A little bit unorganized at the moment. Stuff here and there. Me and oh my dog emote of your pupper. What, like the equivalent of that one that's there? Is that what that is? This is the way that she acts when she comes down here to see me. This is what she does. There. All right, it looks like our health is all the way back. I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to the game right now. Oh, oh, I won. Oh, that's all the enemies. Hopefully we've recruited new R. Like hopefully we didn't need to talk to her. I mean, she is a unit in my army now. I had control over her. Oh, my jacket is falling off now. Hey, what you doing there? Can I set this up so it just like, you know, shows behind my chair like that. There's also a cord right here that I'll move out of the way for. That's what that's actually the cord that I plug my headset headphones into when when needed. Should I just do like that? Can we do that then? If she stays there. Hey, you're relaxed there, huh? Yeah, she's tired. So when she's tired, she comes down here to relax. Is what happens. Alrighty, let's see here. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're not safe me. I 
Now if you'd even think what would have happened. You all right? It's all right. Take it easy. No one's going to hurt you now. Um... Please, sir, let me come with you. There's someone I need to talk to, but I'm scared to be alone. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Um... I, um, I mean, er, uh, here, please look at this. What? Nice ring. Looks just like mine. You messing around with alchemy? Or is this something darker? What? No, it's nothing of the sort. It's just... What? Tell me the truth, girl. You don't want to see what happens if you lie to me. What? Please, just give me... I, I need a moment. My, my talisman. Where is my talisman? <laughs> I am blood and thunder. I am a righteous fury. I am your future daughter. What are you doing? You are trying my patience. Insolence! I speak the truth. The rig I bear also hails from the future. Memento of you, my departed mother. What? And that bizarre talisman? Huh. Your own handiwork wrought to steal the mewling heart of your coward daughter. In its strength did I find blessed escape from grief and solitude. Fear of death and killing too, it drove for me until I became an avatar of retribution. Only by clinging to it have I survived the crushing desolation of a ruined future. Ah! <laughs> oh, give me that. Um, wait, I need that. Without it, I can't... Survive? Can and you will. Not by becoming some avatar of retribution. Just be my daughter. Leave the retribution to me. Huh? Mother. Interesting. My, this is a nasty little number. The future me is good. And very, very bad. <laughs> I can't wait. What? Mother, you're frightening me. Uh, Ken. <laughs> this little trinket will advance my research in the dark arts nicely. Hmm, you have my blood, right? I'm going to need a bit of it back. <laughs> I mean, bleed me dry and I shall be as thunder still. <laughs> See, no daughter of mine needs some mummer's prop to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi. Huh? God, oh, this is just wonderful. I almost said, oh gods, because the characters say that so much that my mind kind of auto-filled it in. My oh my. Alrighty. So we have almost all the kids now. Just a couple to go. I should... I took off my jacket. I can move it here so that you can still see the... You know, the doggo right here, being all chill. And hello, Sid! Welcome, welcome. How many people have died? Uh, nobody, because I'm resetting whenever that happens. And let me tell you, there have been a lot of resets. Like, doing an Iron Man Lunatic Plus Classic run is near impossible, so... Definitely not doing that, considering how many resets, especially the early chapters, take, you know. Um, do I want to reclass Noir right now? Are there any pre-promoted classes that she needs skills from. Um, yes, mercenary for arms thrift. Guess she's staying as a pre-promoted class for now, to get arms thrift. First and foremost. Is the case. It's really funny, usually the doggy will sleep on that couch back there, but sometimes... There we go, we got arms thrift. But sometimes, she just likes to lay beside my chair. This is what she'll do. She just likes to relax there and start, you know, sleeping, essentially. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> she gets pretty cute. Again, sorry for the mess over there. Hey? <laughs> hey, silly doggy. <laughs> now she has my arm. Can I, can I have my arm so I can play the video game? Can I do that? I've got support conversations to see. I've got chapters to complete. I need my arm. Can I have my arm back? No, you want some belly scratches first? That's what you want here. Now your grip's loosening. Now can I have my arm? No. She holds on pretty tightly, by the way. She doesn't want to give me back my arm right now. I mean, <laughs> I could just try to one hand this for now. Is what we could do. Also, yeah, to answer your question there, uh, Ketson from earlier, it's Donald. I put Donald and Tharja together to make freaking Aptitude Armor Thrift Noir, who's gonna be the most insane Nosferatu tank. But yeah, if you've played Awakening so many times that you've never completed a classic run, well, yet you're working towards that milestone of yours, so have you ever tried Lunatic Plus, then? 
is the question. Because a lot of people don't know that, if I turn on my other camera here, that difficulty right there. Um, a lot of people think that it goes up to Lunatic and not Lunatic Plus, which is the most BS difficulty I may have ever seen in my life. You know, enjoy the game the way you want to enjoy it, yeah, which for me is freaking resets for days because of, you know, <laughs> the fact that Lunatic Plus yeah. has such BS skills all over the place. You there. What? Mother, did you need something? What are you doing? What are you doing in that last battle? You're trying to distract me? Huh? I, did I? I'm sorry, I didn't intend to. I'm sorry. Also, should I just stay on this layout so we can leave the doggy camera on? Since it's just like support conversations anyway. I haven't even completed a single chapter of regular Lunatic. Who oh boy. Let me tell you, Lunatic Plus is not okay on so many levels. Um, what now? you mirrored my every movement. It was like some bizarre curse. Well, oh, that, well, you see. Pretty much. Don't care, it doesn't matter, just stop. <laughs> no, wait, it was a force of habit. What? What, habit? Sorry. In the future, you were always too wrapped up in your research to teach me things. Not that I blame you, I know you had your reasons. You were consumed with avenging father, so you never had time to waste on me. But I want to help you, so I... I taught myself magic and dark arts by following your example. Yeah. That became a habit? Yes. Er, well... Yeah, I guess. Pretty much. Hmm. Oh, but if it's a distraction, I'll stop, I promise. So, um, it'd be really nice if maybe you didn't put any weird curses on me? Interesting. I see. Hmm. I'm thinking this could have its uses. Well, <laughs> Luigi. Anyway, um, even you know, casually you lose your mind, stressing out too much about decisions and stuff. Lunatic, you need full renown and DLC, yeah, to beat it. Uh, renown doesn't matter at all. Uh, Lunatic, you definitely don't need DLC to beat. Lunatic plus, you almost certainly need DLC to beat. Like you technically don't need it, but it's near. I mean, it's pretty near impossible as is. Like, considering you don't even lock DLC until after the fourth chapter, and considering that even if you beat the prologue, you might still have to reset more often than not if your avatar did not get enough good defense level ups, because if your avatar is not a second Frederick in terms of defense by chapter two, you can't beat chapter two. I, I guess you technically could, but you, you really can't. You really can't. <laughs> She's so tired. She's such a tired doggy. Oh man, I'm surprised she wasn't grabbing my arm that time. Huh? What's wrong, Noah? Why are you crying? I also only just re recently learned how that's pronounced, apparently. I'm not. Mother cursed me to have a runny nose for three days straight. Huh? Now why'd she go and do that? Why well, Sniffling knows of all things? Yes. It's nothing new. There is always trying out some new spell or another. Every time she comes up with one, she <laughs> uses me as her kitty pig. <laughs> Poor thing. Here. Yeah. Take him lucky. Take him a lucky handkerchief. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm not gonna voice that out there. Hmm. I can't let you suffer like this for three whole days. Don't worry, you are. I'll, I'll have me a talk with your ma and get this like, let this clear up. Dang, it's hard for me to speak Donald sometimes. Are, are you sure? That never really worked out for you in the future. Every time you talked back, mother cursed you up to your eyeballs. Or sometimes she just cursed your eyeballs and then you cried yourself to sleep. Uh, Godly, that's right. Specific, pathetic. Yes. Specific? Pathetic? That- yeah, it was pathetic. Yep. I can fight but, too. but that was a different me, right? Just wait. I'll prove you- I'll prove you can depend on me. <laughs> yeah, well, you never talked like that before. Everything's really can be different this time around. Alrighty. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and just give her some swords as a mercenary for later.